When I was uh, um, finishing up my training as a postdoc, I was fortunate enough to wind up in the lab of a guy named Jim Faramisco, who was James D. Watson's last postdoctoral uh, fellow. And uh, this was a blessing and a curse. The curse part was that when you were in the lab late at night doing experiments, Watson would wander by and quiz you. A little intimidating, yep. <laughs> and what he would say was, uh, why are you doing that? And uh, the blessing part of it was that uh, Watson left me with a question or a, a point uh, that he would uh, uh, underline. The most important part about science is asking the right question. And as we've already heard earlier, the, uh, uh, the sequencing of the human genome has opened up a, a toolbox that's going to last us for as far as I can see at least. And um, I think there's another area that's really of great importance as well, and it was also uh, alluded to earlier. The study of uh, C. elegans has shown that biological aging is a genetically regulated phenomenon. We share a lot of genes with these basic lower organisms, and the fact that we do have the graying of the uh, population, the uh, emergence of the, um, the bulge of the baby boom uh, upon us right now, uh, underscores the importance of understanding all these different diseases that are associated with aging, uh, sarcopenia, um, uh, brain disorders, various dementias, uh, loss of immune function uh, as people age. I mean, one of the things, the most common thing on death certificates is uh, um, um, opportunistic infection. Why is that? Well, that's because the cells of the immune system have reached the end of their ability to divide and grow. They're at the end of their replicative lifespan. So I would argue that understanding basic biological mechanisms of aging um, will impact all those disease states that are, we associate with aging. Cancer, for example. Just as one example, I work in a cancer group, so I know these numbers reasonably well. Um, the incidence of prostate cancer increases a thousand-fold between the first decade of life and the seventh decade. Okay? That's, there's something related to aging there, I think. Um, and in fact, the strongest correlate to all forms of cancer is uh, age. So understanding how the cells are actually physically changing will impact a broad, broad variety of disease states. And unfortunately, we just don't focus on that enough, uh, in my opinion. Of course, I'm, I have a vested interest in this. Uh, I do enjoy studying biological aging, despite the fact I'm in a cancer group. So um, I'd just like to finish by... Um, indicating that I've loved the debate so far, uh, the, the, the differentiation between um, investigator-driven research and uh, bureaucracy-driven research is an important one that I think we need to, to, uh, to really uh, be careful with. It's not that to say that uh, society shouldn't have a, a role in determining the, the broad uh, areas that research is done in, but I think it's a capital mistake to cut out the individuals who are actually on the front lines in the decision-making processes.